coming to the next major product update now now moving to the second aspect where we want to create those contextual experiences uh, aspect of it now that you have access to all the unified data and coming to the contextual experiences let's start with generative ai so we have i mean we we all know how how generative ai technology is taking the world by storm and we have seen how various companies are leveraging this technology and um, based on i mean we have been kind of experimenting with this technology and 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 we we, re we really believe that marketing is going to be one of the important areas where generative ai can really add a lot of value for our customers and uh, we have seen a lot of interest from from our customers in terms of uh, how they want to kind of leverage generative ai um and we also have seen how customers are already kind of doing trying to do something around it um i mean i mean some of the people that we have been speaking with some of the marketers we have been speaking with they are already trying various chat gpt or similar tools and um, and and if you look at the but the problem with some of these third party gpt tools is that uh, they are not first integrated into the campaign workflow uh, and the second part is they don't understand your brand identity and brand guidelines um, they also don't take the feedback of what's working into the consideration as well so so we are solving all these problems and we also wanted to build something that customers really use introducing merlin ai so i would like to start with playing a video to kind of give you a sense of how merlin ai works Cool. So doesn't it sound very exciting? Um, so we did not want to kind of just build a simple wrapper over like an open AI. We wanted to build something that customers really see value and can can create beautiful copies. So we built a self learning engine that gets better over time, that really understands your brand, that can really also kind of get better over time based on how you use it. um so let's take an example of a use case um so let's say if you are, are a marketer and you want to create a copy for your let's say a halloween sale or your holiday campaign so you can define that campaign objective uh and you can next define the keywords that you would want to be included um so and and what merlin does is that merlin also recommends some of the keywords some of the best performing keywords based on the campaigns that you have run in the past um and we do it based on something called as a keyword quotient and we also enable you to kind of exclude some of the keywords that are negatively impacting your uh, engagement rates so you can we show those keywords so that you can define the keywords that you want to exclude and uh, you can also define the audience that you are creating this campaign for because uh, whether you are creating it for like a gen z audience young audience or more or even like a weekend patterns you can define and, and this is a very free form text field you can create you can define your audience in the way you want the demographics and so on and uh, you can also define the kind of the excitement that you wanted to i mean kind of emotion that you want to create with this uh, for your customers whether it is like you want to create a fomo or an excitement or you want it to be in more of a informational copy so you can define that 
and you can also define the writing style so it could be you do want to include emojis or do you want to kind of and and we made it very interesting so you can even define let's say writing style of steve jobs for example so it's a completely um, very versatile and once you just once you once you kind of define your prompts and um, and and this is quite and you can really iterate on these prompts um so you could see something like this sort of a copy that gets generated um and it automatically kind of includes the keywords that you defined uh, excludes the keywords that you defined um and uh, as you go next uh, and you can once you like something you can just use that use that copy um and you can also define like let's say if you don't like something and you want to kind of change the prompts you can define okay i want to kind of change the copy because i'm creating it for like weekend patrons basically people who typically shop during the weekend um and i want to kind of define like a make it more fun want to kind of create a writing style of friends so it's quite very iterative you can just kind of play with it um and uh, you can see all the different versions that you have generated so you can look at all the different versions and then just pick and choose and then once you like something you just kind of use it right and what we also have seen is that the second important use case that we have seen for merlin is that people typically have a copy that gets that they that they have from their creative team or a marketing team but 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 they want to rapidly experiment whether that copy is the right copy and they want to create more copies to to really kind of figure out the copy that really kind of drives engagement so merlin helps you with that so you can actually kind of give a give, take your existing copy that you have from the creative team and generate multiple more copies with again additional prompts that you can define so you can see all the different copies uh and you can have multiple ab tests uh of these different copies and really kind of rapidly experiment with ease so i think that's something we are very really excited about we are introducing it today for push notifications as a channel and it's quite deeply deeply integrated within the campaign workflow so that uh it's you can really use it um and uh so with that i think and 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 um, wanted to quickly talk about some of the things that we are working on in the merlin roadmap uh so we don't see merlin as just like about content generation uh there's a lot more things that we are working on uh, we are we are um in the roadmap we see the um merlin ai for creative generation which is your image generation and asset generation uh we also want to make it easy for you to create segments with natural language uh where we are automatically kind of uh, creating those segments based on your prompts um even not just segments but also campaign workflows in total where you can actually jump start and also a conversational interface where you can actually ask questions understand insights understand reports and so on so there are some things that we're going to work on over the next uh, year or so